I think that this is one of the most interesting features I've so far come across when looking at different AI technologies. That is the ability to share your screen in Google AI Studio and then to ask it questions about whatever is on your screen, whether you need help with PowerPoint, with Word, with Canva, etc. Let me show you in action first before I show you how it works. And the good news is this technology is free. If I want to add a video into a Google slide, how can I do that? To add a video to a Google slide, you can go to the insert menu, then select video. From there, you can search on YouTube, insert a video from your Google Drive, or paste in a video URL. Would you like more detailed instructions on any of these options? No, that's fantastic, thank you. If I want to search for a specific file type. I want to search for PDF files only. Is that possible in Google? Yes, it's possible to search for only PDF files in Google. You can do this by adding file type PDF to your search query. For example, if you're looking for information about solar energy in PDF format, you would type solar energy file type PDF into the Google search bar. Is there anything else I can help you with? Are you able to give me some advice about working with Canva? I can offer some general advice. To give you the best suggestions, could you tell me what you're trying to achieve in Canva? For instance, are you working on a specific type of design or are you looking for tips on using a particular feature? Now, I actually went on to learn loads of things in Canva. In fact, so far, I've been using Google Gemini AI to teach me lots of things about Canva that I didn't know because I actually have the paid tool. You can see how interesting this can be. Now, there's lots of questions that I've got about this technology. Uh, one thing is absolutely clear. Don't share anything private on there. I'm just simply at the moment learning to use it to help me to use pieces of software. But I've also used it for language learning specifically, which is, of course, my interest area. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how it works. And I am using the free tool. And uh, then I'm going to take you through a few more scenarios where we can use it. I really hope you like the video. And if you do, please like it. Please share it. Please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. I'd love to have more of you that view my videos actually subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to search for Google AI Studio, and then I'm going to click on this button here, and it's going to bring me into Google AI Studio. And if I remember rightly, the first time, I do think I had to actually log in. I'm very much at the stage at the moment where I'm just training and working with this technology and learning about it. If you click here, there's a chat window that very much works kind of like Google Gemini and you can ask it questions and get information. There's also a generate media button and I'm presuming that you kind of get the opportunity to test out maybe on a limited period these different uh, image generators and video generators, etc. But we're focusing on this button, on the stream button. And the one that we want to click on is share screen. Now, you do have different kind of levels of working with Google, but I'm simply just using it in the standard Gemini 2.0 flash, which I believe is free. I'm going to click on the stream button and then I'm going to click on share screen and I'm given a number of options and probably the best thing to do to kind of control your privacy and exactly what you're sharing click on Chrome tab I'm using Google Chrome you can share your entire screen but you can square share a specific window I like working with the tabs and what I'm going to do is I want to work with this tab here because I want to get some help with Google Docs so I'm going to click on that one so this is the only tab that I'm sharing and I'm going to click on the share button and I'm hoping that it's going to allow me now to work. Can you see my Google document on the screen at the moment? Yes, I can see your Google document on the screen. Are you planning to work on it during this session? Yeah, I was wondering, I've been told that there's something called voice typing in Google Docs. How can I access voice typing? Yes, there is a voice typing feature in Google Docs. 
To access it, go to the Tools menu at the top and then select Voice Typing. Microphone icon should appear, and then you can click on it when you're ready to start speaking. Is there anything else I can help you with regarding voice typing in Google Docs? Okay, so I've just gone to voice typing. That seems okay. It says click to speak. Let me give it a test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Wow, that's fabulous. Um, I noticed that the voice typing feature is working well for you. Yeah, you that's great. Is there one that moves me on to a new paragraph? So let's say I'm talking, but then I want to start a new paragraph. Is that possible? Yes, to start a new paragraph using voice commands, you can simply say new paragraph. Would you like me to show you more commands? No, let me try that out for a minute. Let me just stop and just see if that works. Hi, my name's Russell Stannard and I am a, well, I was a language teacher. These days I'm a teacher trainer specializing in the use of teaching or technology in, in teaching and learning. New paragraph. Ah, oh, yeah, that works really well. That was great. I actually went on to learn loads of things about voice typing. And what I'm going to show you next is really important. I'm going to show you how to actually stop the screen sharing. And there are a couple of buttons that you need to click on just to make sure you've stopped everything completely and that you're still not sharing your screen. Now, a lot of people ask me, Russell, how do you make your videos? How did you build up your YouTube channel? Well, actually, I do have another channel where I specifically do that. I make videos that show you how I built up my YouTube video, how I make my videos, etc. It's called Screencast Guru. And if you want to subscribe to that channel, and of course, all the videos on that channel are free, then I'll put the link to that channel on the screen now you can click and subscribe to that channel let's look at then once you've finished screen sharing how you're going to turn it off now when you finish click on the stop share button that will stop sharing the screen but i also advise you to go back to google gemini and turn on this i think it says stream is live click on that also to stop now that was just a little taster of what we can do and how easy it is to use this technology. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to show you a couple of ideas around language learning. I have to say that this is really where I'm beginning to focus now on this technology and wondering what we could do with it as a language learner. I did actually release uh, lately a video about how I study languages using technology, which is really interesting because I show you three or four of my favorite technologies. And I'll put that on the screen now in case you wanna watch it. But what we're gonna do now is shift a little bit and look a little bit how we might be able to use this to help us with language learning. Just one thing I wanna emphasize, make sure whenever you're using that technology that you close down anything you don't wanna share on the screen, even accidentally, of course. And not only that, just share either a window, specific window that you wanna work with to ask questions about, or a specific tab, and that way you're gonna be pretty secure. Let's look at some of the early experiments I've done now looking at language learning. Are you able to see this transcript here that's on the right hand side of this YouTube video? Yes, I can see the transcript on the right hand side of the YouTube video. Is there anything specific you would like me to look at in the transcript? I just wondered, is it possible for you to extract all of the example vocabulary from the transcript that is about a B2 level of English, that is B2 on the Sephra scale. Are you familiar with the Sephra scale that we use to kind of analyze the level of language learning? Yes, I am familiar with the CEFR scale. Would you like me to extract all of the example vocabulary from the transcript that is about a B2 level of English? Yeah, a B2 level or above. And can you put it in a text file for me, please? Sure. I will extract all of the example vocabulary from the transcript that is about a B2 level or above and put it in a text file for you. What it actually did was wrote the words out for me. I asked it to write it as, as text in the chat window. So I've now got the list of words here. I'm not sure if that's a complete list, but um, and of course, I'm not dead sure that it's completely accurate. I would need to put those into a technology that would tell me if they are B2 level or above. Um, but uh, you can at least see that it is able to access 
the transcripts from a YouTube video, for example, and do various exercises with them. Okay, really hope you are finding this video useful. And if you are, please like it because it really helps me with my YouTube ranking. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. I will be making another video where I'm gonna go into much more detail about using Google AI Studio for language learning. Um, but at least you've got a bit of a taster there. One thing, we can see that we can also use it for speaking, but at the moment it's limited to English. However, ChatGPT has an amazing voice tool in it now, and I have made a video recently about that, and I'll put it on the screen and you can access that. So if you wanna follow me, follow my videos, keep up with what I'm doing, then think about coming over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos on my website, but also if you are a teacher, just sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll get updated with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses we run, but also there is a free 14 part video course where I send you a video about once every four or five days and they're just short videos that highlight some of the best technologies for teaching and learning languages. And you might find that really useful and literally everything I recommend is free. Really hope you liked the video and thank you very much.